Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. And Apple releases iOS 17.4 RC update, and you can see the size. Now it is not going to take any extra storage. It is going to override the existing uh, iOS device, and so no need to worry about the storage. And so, very first thing, how you can install the iOS 17.4 RC update is quite simple. You can simply go to settings, then go to general, then go to software update. Over here, you will see the update. You also need to go to beta update, select the iOS 17 developer beta, go back, and now finally you will see the update. Now this update brings a lot of new emojis, start, start scripts in Apple Podcasts, and includes other features. There are also bug fixes and security update for the iPhone. So let's see what is new in this update and talk about these things. Go to learn more and here are the things that are new with the iOS 17.4 which means iOS 17.4 RC update for now. Well if there will be no issue with this update, this update will become the actual public update. But if Apple find any issue, they will definitely come up with the RC2 update. But we will see that later. But for now, let's talk about what is new in the iOS 17.4 RC update. Now, with the emojis, new mushroom, phoenix, lime, broker, chain, and shaking hand emojis are new available. 18 and 18 people and body emoji and the option to face them in either direction. So over 30 emojis are now available with the iOS 17.4. There is update with the Apple Podcast. Now, if I go to settings, if I go to Apple Podcast over here, now you will able to see a transcript. For example, I run this podcast and if I go over here, there as you can see transcripts available and I can see and read the transcript. It is, it is just taking a lot of time to load but yeah transcript is option is available so okay here you can see the transcript and this is how the apple podcast is working with this new update now going back episode text can be read in full search for a word or phrase tapped to play from a specific point and use with the accessibility features such as text size it gives contrast and voiceover now let's move further this update includes the following enhancements and bug fixes. Music recognition lets you add a songs you have identified to your music playlist and library as well as Apple Music Classical. Siri has the option to announce messages you receive in any stolen devices. Siri is just triggered, which I didn't. Uh, moving to the next one, stolen device protection supports the option for increased security in all locations. Now going into the settings over here. I have to like go back from here and go to the okay over here you see stolen device protection update going over here there are different options now there is a complete menu for the stolen device protection that is with iOS 17.4 which is a bit enhanced than the iOS 17.3 now going back to the what is new with this update let it load learn more okay over here Battery health is settings show battery cycle count, manufacture date at first use on iPhone 15 and 15 Pro models. I am not sure and I don't know why they didn't give the update in the battery health for the other iPhones that support iOS 17, but there is a new battery health menu is available with the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro running iOS 17.4. Call identification display, Apple verified business name, logo, department name when available. So if you're receiving any call from verified business, it will show the name of that business, which is really cool. But this is already available with the Google. Business up, uh, update in messages for business uh, provide trusted information for order status, client notification, fraud alerts, or other transactions you opt into. Apple cash virtual numbers enable you to pay with the Apple cash and merchants that don't yet accept Apple Pay by tapping in your number from wallet or using Safari autofill. Though Apple Cash is also not available in my, in my country so I am not able to show you that either. Fix an issue where contact pictures are blank in Find My. I haven't uh, seen this issue. Fix an issue for the dual SIM users where iPhone number changes from primary to secondary and is visible to the group. They have messaged. I also didn't face this issue. So some of the issues here are that Apple is fi fixing, which is really good. Now talking about the new emojis, as you know, there are a couple of new emojis. 
going over here there are new emoji with the phoenix and i'm not able to find that although i am running ios 17.4 beta 4 for now a uh, new mushroom if i go to mushroom okay not over here even okay so these are the new emojis one of them is a new emoji i'm not sure which one is but this is one of them is the new emoji broker chain emoji is also available with the iOS 17.4 so broken chain is also the new emoji that is available with the iOS 17.4 RC well these are the some of the new things that are available with the iOS 17.4 RC update I am going to install this update for sure and I'm going to dig into this update and I will come back with another video for you guys well that's it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.